Yo, how's it going everyone? Gary here from Roy's Good Store. Um, today I'm going to show you how to cut bars without using power tools, um, except from a drill, which you'll need for the relief hole. So, first off, I'm going to use these pipe cutters. These pipe cutters are used to um, kind of measure, um, or sorry, to, <laughs> to cut your actual bars off, and it's going to cut them straight. Um, but before we do that, we need to measure our bars. You notice um, these core bars here have got the uh, thingy majiggy here, so I'm not going to actually measure from here, I'm going to measure from the wall. Okay, I'm going to cut these at, what am I going to cut them? These are going to be cut at 55. In fact, no. Yeah, 55. I'm going to make my mark there, and I know I've got something to work towards. So, now I'm going to get my pipe cutters. I'm going to put the pipe cutters on. Like so. And then all I need to do is just keep tightening these up and spinning that. Or spinning it and tightening them. Okay, now I'm getting to the end of it. I've just heard a little crack. I know they're about to go now. So now, just the last little bit. Boom. Okay, nice clean cut there. Boom. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to use the old. We're going to use the old cut off bit, and we're going to use this slit here to uh, help us mark our next slit. Now I prefer a bigger slit than this, so I normally go fifty. I normally use a Kronos bar for that. So I'm going to go up, ah, you know what, I'm just going to go measure it. So 50 millimetres or 5 centimetres up to there. And then what I'm going to do is just use, how do I use these again, as my straight edge. I could definitely do it with a ruler, but we won't worry about that. You know what, don't worry. I'm just going to eyeball this, because you guys would. I'm just going to run the line down. That gives me a rough guide to work towards. Pull the line across. I might actually do the relief hole a little bit lower than what I was going to, just because these are shorter bars. So, get our drill bit in there. I think this, what did we use? I think we normally use around there five mil, five to six mil. I think that's a six. Um, so I'm just going to put this on the floor to get my drill lined up. I'm going to stand on the bar, push my drill in quite hard to start with. It doesn't take much to get this relief hole done. Um, there we go. We could definitely do that straighter. If this was a customer set of bars and not, a, not our own set of bars, then I probably would take a bit more time and effort to do these. But you know, I'm trying to show you guys quickly how this is done. Next up, we've got our nibbler. This is a really cool tool. Some of you probably, in fact, I don't think, I've never even seen this in the industry. Okay, it's used to cut um, sheet metal. I'm going to use this to cut this titanium right now. So I'm going to follow, follow my yellow line, put it in, squeeze them together. Boom. Just like that. So that's it, how to cut bars without much power tools. 
So, well certainly without a grinder. That's what a bar's looking like now. And that's the bit that's come off. To make that a little bit better, you could just run a grinder down there to make it a little bit wider.